everyone I'm Denise Love and today I thought we would paint a few Christmas cards uh, ideas that I've been thinking about I did a Christmas card Christmas class where it's cards and prints uh, larger pieces that you can paint and I've got that out on Skillshare um, and I painted that just after Christmas last year which was like the time when I was most inspired sometimes you got to hop on these ideas um, when you're inspired but I painted that just like in February um, exactly when you couldn't put out like a Christmas card class and then I waited most of the year to put it out and then it came out like a month or so ago maybe two months ago now um, giving you know, like plenty of time to then paint some Christmas cards or Christmas holiday things that you could frame and hang in your house and it could be part of your holiday decorations and so I haven't painted holiday stuff now in 10 months I guess and so I was thinking yesterday um, about some different things for the holidays and pulling out Christmas decorations and just things that I just kind of set around the house and I decided I'm thinking I've got some more ideas that aren't in that class that I could do like a little bonus video for and then put it out on YouTube too so you guys could enjoy it and so that's kind of what I was thinking yesterday and so this morning I was like okay let's go paint a few trees and so in this collection I'm just going to paint off um, a set of trees and I'm painting these on watercolor Strathmore cards um, which is 140 pound cold press cards I believe and I like these because they come with envelopes and because I'm painting this in the week or so in the next couple days that I might actually make my Christmas cards for people to, or address them and send them get them to the post office I'm like now now is the moment to paint these so that a few people may be getting one of these you never know <laughs> and what I'm doing um, is just taping off a tree shape and you know you could get real creative with this and you know tape off one tree shape and paint that and then tape off some other trees behind it you could do um, short squat trees that are a little wider you could do tall skinny trees you know your card size would be a good indicator of what size that you could get and if you're trying to cover the whole uh, card with maybe a little foot st a stand on here and then you know maybe something you could write below it then you know then this might be a good amount to tape off and I'm just paint putting this down with painters tape and now we are ready to play and experiment so I have pulled out my mashes of watercolors which I currently I'm obsessed with I have also pulled out some fine tech metallics and this is the fine tech set of six and then random colors that came in my sketch box so it's fine tech metallics but don't ask me what the colors are because I don't have all the labels anymore and I thought that because you know one of my favorite things right now to paint is those art totems um, I thought that we could paint one of these as, an, as a Christmas tree totem <laughs> and so I'm gonna do freestyle and I'm just got out my Princeton Elite number 12 the Aqua Elite number 12 and you know we could play and keep this in Christmas colors um, we could make it any kind of colors that we wanted there's nothing saying that a tree has to be all Christmas colors um, so just kind of play and experiment in any way that you find fun and interesting and I'm kind of gonna just mix these up myself and then we can come back on top and mark make and I'm kind of excited now to see what a totem tree looks like <laughs> I don't think I wanted that yellow on there but I think when we're done we'll love everything that we've got so I'm not even worried about it and these are the essential colors this set here that I'm using by Mashes watercolors and it's a great set of colors like you could do just about anything you wanted with this one set and I have because I'm so obsessed with these watercolors I've ordered she did um, 
recently she did a little like almost like a sampler 10 sets i think there are probably quarter pans in it of all 36 colors so in my mind i'm like aha she has 36 colors <laughs> and those are coming and a little christmas present to myself all right i'm going to just set that one to the side and let it dry i also thought what if i did kind of a blobby christmas tree with my yummy blobby things that i like to do um and i have some videos coming that will make better sense of what i just said because you might not actually think blobby things but i also have done a bunch where it's the blob kind of abstracts and so i'm kind of thinking what if we kind of did that with these and just see like what can we get this to look like So these are going to be a little less traditional, I think, in like what I'm looking for. That kind of merged into like mud, didn't it? Um, I'm looking for less traditional. I'm not looking for, you know, a green tree with red ornaments and white lights. I want to just see like, what can we get if we did this or that? Ooh, I like that color there. Let's put that down there. Might not see it. Um, so this is really just about experimenting. What if we put some of this fine tech and dipped it in just so that we're going to get some yummy gold in our colors before we maybe do something on top? What about that? <laughs> okay, those are really diving in more than I even thought. I kind of want more of this color in here. So I'm going to come back on top. Even though it's not completely dry, I think it's dry enough for me to come in and get some more defined, possibly, stripes in here. And we could do stencil work on top. I mean, you could do everything that I ever thought to do on a watercolor abstract. We could do that in our trees. So keep all that in your mind as you're making some of these. You're like, oh, I could do all kinds of fun stuff. Ooh, maybe I want a copper up here. Let's just do some of that right there. <laughs> you know, every time I make a funny noise, uh, I get cracked up because art's more fun if you can loosen up. Okay, so on this last one, we've got the blobs. I'm letting that dry. We've got the totem kind of thing. I'm letting that dry. Um, on this one, we could do a little more traditional. Maybe... Maybe do some just back and forth and and I probably could have done that with a green, couldn't I? That's okay. It's all about just experimenting and having some fun here. And I kind of like not traditional trees too, so there's that. All right, so we're going to let that one dry. And then I want to come back and decorate some of these. Kind of want to come back to this one before it's dried completely. And maybe take a little bit of like a shop cloth and soak up some extra water. And then I might look at this and think, does it need anything in here? Do we want some texture? Oh, how about some texture? Oh, let's do that. Let's just take this thing <laughs> and see. How much fun you can have if you just start making noises. Oh my gosh. I know I'm a nut. You know you love it. <laughs> and, oh, oh my goodness. All right. So I kind of want there to be some more of some other colors in here. Maybe that I can. Let's just see. Because these kind of softened a little bit. And I might want it more vivid just playing experimenting there's no right or wrong with these we're just trying to fill the triangle oh yeah see i'm liking that Whoa. okay so i'm gonna let these dry and then we're gonna come back and do some decorating so i'll be back all right we are dry and that didn't take too long i just kind of picked up my phone and started playing on my phone 
Um, okay, so this is the one where we swish the color on. This is the blobby one that didn't really end up being a blob. And this was the art totem one. So I'm kind of thinking that, let me set this to the side, we could do any of our techniques that we love so much. Um, so I can draw on this with Posca pens, which is always a favorite thing to do. Um, let me see if I got that started. We could also do the gold ink. We could do some oil pastel on top. I want you to just pull out every technique you've ever seen me do and think, ha ha, this is what I could do. Um, so this is the art totem one. We could keep it in stripes. We could just ignore that it has stripes now that it's all over the place. We can doodle, we can have some fun. We can put some ornaments like traditional tree if we want. We could do some drawn ornaments. We could do, I've just got so many ideas. We could do stencil on top. I'm kind of almost thinking tiny bit of stenciling. Let's just do it. Let's just be brave. I could do this in the gold. Ooh, okay, I was totally gonna do it in this pretty so flat pink. <laughs> But I'm thinking um, the paste, the mica paste, which is just like the gold mica ink from Kiritake, which I haven't used in a while because um, I just hadn't thought about it. It's funny the things that you forget about and then later you're like, ha ha, let's start that again. <laughs> oh, it's stuck. Brr. All right, let's see if they're stuck in this one. I got another one up here. I may have to get a needle and pull some of this out. Oh, this one's... You can tell I haven't opened these in a while. All right, let me go get a needle. Here we go. I found my clay tool, this thing that's kind of tall. It's like an ice pick almost. And that worked perfectly. So now I'm ready to squeeze a little gold out. And I've got my artist sponges over here, just a little, little round sponge I cut into quarters. And I use the sponge dry. And I'm kind of thinking a little stencil work on top of here. And then we could do the whole thing. I'm kind of feeling like the whole thing. What do you think? Just ride that inspiration when it strikes. Whatever that idea. Oh, I could do stripes of this. That could be fun. Okay, but I'm kind of feeling like a gold tree. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. <laughs> I didn't have a set thing in mind. I had like kind of an idea and then thought, you know, just whatever I'm inspired to do as I'm painting, that's where we'll go. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Totally, that was totally worth it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to set that one over here and we'll let that dry. This was one of those um, little sets from Amazon that's like a damask stencil set. So I will link that below the video so that you can see which set I'm using. Um, this one's fascinating to me because these colors meshed in such an interesting way. I'm kind of thinking on this one. All right, let's pull this one back out. Let's pull out the gold ink, which I haven't haven't used in a while. Let's see. Is this one gonna hadn't hadn't been over here in a bit? Okay, so now we can just kind of ooh. Let's just go ahead and do some decorating. Do. Do, 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 do some decorating. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at that. Let's just do that right there. Oh! Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at that. Now we've got some. Let's make this one a little more even. But now, look at that. We've got some really shiny. That's why I like these mica inks because man they are insanely beautiful and bright and shiny and I'm kind of feeling like should we do gold ornaments or maybe just some gold dots in here. Um, hmm. All right let's think about it. All right dots it is. I'm feeling dots. Could be like little sparkly lights almost as the light hits it. <gasps> totally feeling that. Totally, totally. Oh my gosh, these have already made me 
a happy camper at my paint day. Let me tell you, I used to not be a happy camper at my paint table. I used to be angry. I'd sit down, I'd want to paint some masterpiece. I didn't know what that was going to be. And then it never magically appeared on my paper. And I'd be so mad that I'd be like, I can't paint. Why do I even have a creative business? Why do I even try to sit at this paint table and do anything? And I, that would like ruin my mood for days. And I'd go back to the photography stuff, which I was really good at anyway. And I'd just be angry at my art table. You know, when, I'm, when I was younger and you were in art classes, look at that. It is just so delightful with the little little dots in there um, you know when you're in, when you're in art school and stuff and they give you assignments you know you you never are at a loss of something to do because somebody gave you an assignment which is why I like doing videos with you guys with challenges and stuff because I'm giving you some assignments and you can show up to your art table and do some painting with me um, rather than being a grumpy camper at your table but right about the time that I decided to try cutting up some art you know with the pretty things that I cut out in some of the videos that was so liberating and so freeing to me because then it didn't matter what I painted it was gonna look good because I could cut it up I'm all about anything we can cut up okay so here we got just a thin brush what is this this is a Rosemary and Company series 313 number one it's just a little little fine detail brush from my Rosemary and Company um, seconds little uh, bundle that they sent me and I thought hmm, let's just try we could do you know we could uh, try this out I hadn't tried this brush still had the little tip on it but we could give these a try out and just see how do we like the brush and maybe just paint in some metallics here and just have fun decorating a more traditional tree perhaps or I could do that and then think eh, and go back on top of it with my stencil always an option <laughs> don't shut any doors just think oh yeah I could do this or I could do that could do some thought I had water on that could try okay I'm just not liking where I'm going with this actually <laughs> don't be afraid to stop where you're at and say okay let's change direction and I know I just put a line on there which I could put another line on there to make it look like that was on purpose that's the way if you got something you don't like a color or whatever do it more than once and then it's at least looks like you meant to do it but I'm loving these other ones so much that I'm like what else could I do that I would like better maybe we could do oil pastel instead because you know I love the oil pastels and I'm kind of feeling like we can get some much better lines and decorations and color with these now I'm liking it better and then of course anything with pastel on it I'm gonna hit this with the Sennelier pastel spray so I've got the oil fixative um, by Sennelier and if I was using soft pastels I'd use the soft pastel fixative and those I just keep right here um, at my table and then I can just run outside and do whatever I need to do with those now if you're using oil pastels that is your last line of whatever you could do on here you can't put stuff on top of that really unless you get it fixed really good and then maybe you could but for let's just say rule of thumb not generally gonna put stuff on top of that let's see let's do this yellow it's kind of like a this might be my least favorite but it's always fun to experiment don't don't say you know nay quite yet but those two that that one this one might be my very favorite with the uh it's a little stenciling on there but you never know surprise yourself that's why i like doing lots of trees at the same time every tree could be different okay i'm loving that okay let's just see what let's just see what we got let's let's come let's let that one sit for a second all right so i'm going to peel the tape got gold down there but that's okay 
Oh, oh I love peeling tape. Oh, look at that. <gasps> look at that. And let me tell you, what would be really cool is maybe some gold splatter and we need our little base there. So we could do a base in gold or I could do a base in watercolor, but why not? Let's just do the base in gold. So let's get some of that gold out there. And I'm just thinking, you know, little little tree base here. Nothing special. And if you like to write things, you might put, you know, across the bottom a sentiment, a holiday greeting, Merry Christmas, whatever it is that you want to put down there. Happy Holidays. <gasps> Look at that. That's what I wanted. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking some splatter. So let's grab our Raphael Zero soft aqua brush. I'm going to get some water on that. And I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to dip it down in here, maybe test that a little bit on my sheet just to get a little, little rhythm going and just tap some gold, a little holiday sparkle there. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that is like the perfect tree. Okay, so that's a win. All right, let's put that one over here to the side. Let me let that dry. I don't want to get stuff all over it, so I'm going to set it a little further away. <laughs> all right, we may get gold sparkle on all of these now that that turned out so good. <laughs> and I did, you know, try to let these dry naturally rather than with a heat gun because I didn't want the watercolor to possibly go up under my tape because the heat gun releases that tape. Now, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to see. Okay, so we'll cover that with gold. It's a little speck of watercolor, I think. Okay, so let's do a base. Now, we could, we could think on this one, maybe I want a watercolor base. And so, we could just take a little bit of watercolor, maybe, in whatever color you liked. And just come back and do a base over here. And I don't know that that was the best choice, so I might just come back on it with some other shade here, because why not? And we will have like a multicolored, ooh, that one right there. Okay, so <laughs> that's the one I want. <laughs> just, it's all about experimenting. Don't be afraid to experiment. We will get there. Okay, a little bit of gold sparkle. Whew. Oh, look at that. It's like a little bit of magic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna let that one dry, but look at that. And when that gold sparkle dries, oh. Okay, so let's pull the third one over. Let's see what we got. I keep wiping my fingers on my microfiber cloth, which is my favorite rag to have here at the table. Hmm. Okay, so now that we've pulled the tape, I'm actually really digging this, but I managed to pull it where I'm not going to be able to grip this right here, I think. <laughs> that would be what... Arr! Okay, so let's do this with... Here we go. Ha ha! Got it. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Oh my goodness. Now I almost want some color of oil pastel as the base. So let's just pick a random color. These are the Mungyo oil pastels that I've been using, and you can use anything that you kind of want. There's nothing saying it's got to be one or the other. And look at that. We can even make our bases more creative. Look at that. Totally is kind of a favorite. Not my very favorite. I like these other ones too, but what if we do some gold splatter on that just to get a little gold in because gold is very holiday-ish. Um, but I like it so much better than I expected because I actually kind of thought, mm, I don't know if I'm going to like this one. Okay, let's just do a little gold splatter. And then we've got some yummy holiday goldness going. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, you can write at the bottom what it is that you love. So that's going to give me some extra bling when that dries. Check out all three of these, and I'll take some pictures to put at the end so you can really get a good look at that with the gold in it. 
Look at those. Oh my gosh. I hope you have fun maybe trying these. This is like the easiest thing in the entire world to make a few trees. You could put a holiday thing underneath it, write a fun note inside. Beautiful card idea. Beautiful piece of art idea. And you could have done like three trees if you let that one dry and come back and painted, you know, two more behind it, tape them off and everything. I mean, there's so many ideas here that you could do with this little simple technique. But just fill in the triangle triangle peel the tape and then you know put a little base on there and you've got like the best card or the best piece of art if you decide to do some and frame them or bookmarks you could do this on a bookmark Arr, so cool like tall skinny tree like a little tree totem tall skinny tree that would be cool definitely just let your ideas flow with this hope you enjoyed painting with me today and i'll see you next time